So let's add the one more request. Similarly, how we have added a put request, I will click on this particular three dots from the folder level and I will select the add request and I will specify the name of the request as delete booking. So here request type I will select as delete. So this is going to delete the resource from the server. So I will use the same URL and whatever the URL we are using it for the update. So this is the same URL. You, you might be seeing the same URL, right? So restful hyphen booker.hercoapp.com then followed by booking. Then we are specifying the, so here we have to say which booking ID you want to delete it, right? So we have to specify the booking ID over here and let's add the headers. So same headers we have to add it, whichever we have added into the put API for updating the resource in the server. So here you can add the content type as the application slash JSON. Then I'll add the one more attribute that is uh, cookies data. And here I'll specify the token equal to some value. That's it. So no need to specify the body here because we are going to directly delete this particular booking ID, right? So let us start creating the new resource, then we'll update it. Then finally, we'll be deleting that particular resource. So I will go to this create booking. I will create the new res resource in the server now. So we got the booking ID now. I'll copy this booking ID and I'll check this booking ID details are exist or not in the server. We have this details in the server. Now we will update this particular booking ID now. So for updating, we have to generate the token. So here I'm generating the token now. I'll copy this token. I will go to the this update booking API and I'll paste the token now and that's it. So I will not update anything here. So we, we, we have already updated the few details, first name and last name. We should be able to see these two changes in the get booking details API. So just let me check out like what is the issue over here now. So let me create another request now. So we got the booking ID now. I will check whether booking details are present or not in the server. So we have the booking details present in the server. I will go to the update booking API. I'll add the booking ID here. Then I will quickly generate the token. So I'll copy this particular token now. I'll go to the update booking. I'll paste it here. Then I will send it. So we got the successful success status code and all the details got updated. We will check quickly get booking details. So details got updated properly. So let's use the let's perform the delete operation also. So we have to specify the only booking ID and the token. So here I'll specify the token and I will copy this particular booking ID. I'll come to the delete booking and I'll specify it here. So that's it. So here we are seeing the 201 created. For the update, so we are seeing the 200 response code, uh, status code, sorry. And for the delete request, we are seeing the 201 created. So that means, that particular resource got successfully deleted. So we will go to the get booking details API and we'll verify whether that particular booking details are present or not in the server. So obviously those details will be not present, right? Because we have deleted by using the delete request type. So that's all I have in this session. So I will be covering a lot in the next API testing tutorial. So we will see how to create the negative scenarios and